Riding out of the steel city of Sheffield, UK. I school of telling the ring. I've never been, I've never been, I've never been, I've never been, school now. Say out of the way of the big right hand. Alrighty, we are back with episode four of Playing as the Underdog. Today, we play as one of my favorite British fighters, Kel Brook, who surprisingly has very low stats in this game. However, we're gonna be taking on Canelo Alvarez. And since my record so far is 39 and three, with all the character attributes and perks against me, keeping in mind Kel Brook was once knocked out by a jab, I'm doing this to prove a point, that technical ability will always trump character exploits and try hard spammers. Enjoy. All right, for me, this is so cool to play with one of my favorite British fighters, uh, Kel Brook. He fought under the Inglewood gym. He's got a very unique style. Well, they have a very unique style. Okay, keep our distance with the jab. Okay, he's showboating. Nice jab. Now, he obviously thinks I'm a walkover. This is quite common when people play me and they see my... Um, my ranked record, but they don't realize I've only had one game in ranked. Sold, and, um, I think he's going to find out down. my real we record, hopefully, at least. He's finding my distance. It's very, very dangerous, this fight. So look at the hooks that Canelo is able to throw in this game. And we know what he does in real life, so his attributes are set to an all-time high. how bad you are. You can hear the pressure, the expectation. Whereas yeah, Kel Brook, I believe his total score in this game is 82. So we can't afford to get clipped. Lovely jab combo. Stepping on the outside as well with the uh, right jab. Let's get our footwork down. Let's, let's just fluster him, you see? He thinks I'm gonna move in, he thinks I'm gonna bite, but now he's throwing, um, now he's throwing power punches. Nice, followed him on the sidestep. Nearly caught him with that left jab. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and Double reaction jab is money. Times. You've got to get in there quick to punch your Okay, usually first round, I kind of keep my distance and measure, but um, I don't think I've got his timing down. He's a good player, but he's willing to play, and it just makes it easier for me to uh, work out the rhythm. That was a, for me, that was a perfect round one. You know, I didn't get flat lines. And um, again, for anyone who doesn't know, I typically play as the underdog. I don't choose the characters with exploits. You know, the types of characters, you can spam a left hook or spam eight jabs in a row. I like to keep things authentic and my boxing movement realistic as possible. So as you can see, Ooh, put me there. Put me again, lovely jab. And deservingly so, you know, I was throwing hooks without stepping off the center line. He's got a good, um, good rhythm going right now, Camilla Alvarez. Let's see if we can break it. Speed generates power. Time is lovely. You've got speed. You now, pop, one thing you might else. notice is that I am sort of dictating the pace of the fight, and this is quite common. It seems in the fights I have, even the three fights which I lost, um, typically my opponent would stand in the middle of the round of the uh, ring and just wait for me to come in and then sort of throw and hope to get lucky. But, um, you know, also when I'm peppering the opponent, I'm not sure what to do. I don't know why you're showing off these. I'm going to take advantage of that every time he does it. Lovely jab um, by Canelo. We have a worthy opponent for sure. Both want a knockout, you so, can um, tell. That makes him extra dangerous. Worthy opponent plus his character perks. Got out of the way that right hook. You've got to find a way to overcome. And right now, I think I'm doing an overall decent job. First round was better. Lovely uh, body shot there. Ooh, beautiful one-two jab. Keeping their gloves up. I mean, what I really want to do is I, I want to bust up his face a little bit, you know? Get him bleeding. Lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Now, that was a nice end to the second round. And, a book, and um, what you'll find, I mean, look, you never know, I might get knocked out, but what you find is I usually try and push the pace at a later point. 
um, to where I surprise them, okay? Because I have a lot of abilities right now which I'm holding back on. Well at all. And uh, if we can wear him out, so right now he's very dangerous. But yeah, if we can wear him out, then um, I should be able to showcase my abilities. Know who the bigger power puncher is. A it's just knowing if Kell Brook has that ability as well to uh, knock I've out his opponent. Certain that can certainly does in real life. Lovely. Tactics. They know Lovely the body they shot. See if we can get him again. That's where the confidence comes from. No. I'm getting a bit um, Ooh, silly with that pull out jab. Lovely. You see, when I'm up close, the uh, right jab. I don't know why you do that. Oh, look at that. It's embarrassing. Nice exchanges from both men in this yeah, What are you doing, dude? To score with that left hook. It's almost like guys like this, they, um, they show off to give themselves a sense of confidence. There's no way this fighter Lovely can go right jab on the inside. And that is money for me to be honest. Isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy. Because now, all don't think, by the way, just to be clear, to look at my, look at my position of feet you. when I throw that inside jab, okay? Because if, if your foot position is, is off, you're not going to land the jab on the inside. Lovely, you see that? Oh, nice, There's nice. Right look, hand. this guy, he's, he's not a bad player, to be honest. You know, and I say that because he's aware of the direction I'm moving and he's ensuring that, miss. look, you see, I moved to the left, he threw from the right. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. He's got the left jab when I move to the right, so no, I'm just testing him out. But whenever that's the case, I just change my pattern and I stay on the, on the line and beat him to the jab. Who's winning this fight right now? So I, I think no so idea. far... I could be wrong because I'm, my mind's sort of in it, but so far I think I've won all rounds. Beautiful. There you go. So we're 10-9 up on each round. 30-27. Clean. Clean against the legend Canelo Alvarez. Now, just to um, add some context here, Kell Brook has actually been knocked out by Terence Crawford by a jab. Okay, now, outside of that ring, I mean, outside of that match, I mean, he is championship material. Doesn't always mean My concern is that they've added that into this game, so I do need to be careful. And just get picked apart, even though they were the one. Because look, Canelo is a worthy opponent right now. You know, he's he's adapting. But um, I do believe I've got the upper hand. There you go. He's still catching me though on the outside. I mean, on the return. So I need to be able to get in and get out. Nice punch. But I also need to keep him sweet. Possibly get some hooks to the body. Some nice exchanges from both men in this yeah, room. Canelo is moving back. He's waiting for me to come in. Lovely sidestep by Canelo. He's getting comfortable. I don't like that spamming left jab though, but you know, we'll make sure he pays for that. Oh, and they just got their bell wrong. Not bad. Again, we've, we've got into a bit of a mirror match, right? He's seeing what I do. He's trying to uh, mimic it. Any punches but that their opponent throws, he is not Kell Brook. You know? I'm playing how I'd imagine Kell Brook to gift. fight. So to have a chin, let's know. see if he can maintain that. Well, I tell you what, um, Canelo so Alvarez's sidestepping, especially his diagonal sidestepping, is pretty good. It's giving me a few problems, but listen, once, once I get my rhythm, I just need one moment this to get off a good combo. Any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a joke. Okay, I just need one moment to, to just sort of get a good combination going, and then, then it's just a, a case of moving forward. But of course, that's easier said than done against Canelo Alvarez. But I was able to do it with Roy Jones earlier. I didn't record that match. Uh, with Kell Brook, I flustered the guy so much he actually just quit the game. Swing and a miss with Ooh, that there we go. Now look, we, we got Canelo, uh, Canelo's cut on the left eye and he's going to see that. Trust me, that will have an effect on him. Look, he's, he's throwing like a oh, madman. We're a catching punch. him. We're catching him, guys. This could be it. Right jab. 
doesn't know what to do. I'm just going to combo the shit out of him. Technically, there they go on the right. One shot at a time. One shot at a time. We're not because. So you know, I'm, I might finish him and then he comes back. That's what you've got to look at. If you do, oh, and you know you're do this. Anger, you've got to be Let's honest. Take our time. Be confident. Nope. And look at him now. He's gassed. We've got him in the matrix, guys. We've got him in the matrix. Okay, we have him flustered. Figure out the combination to this thing. He missed with that jab. He's throwing in mid, he's just throwing in mid-air now and he needs to be careful because his cardio, whilst he's damaged, not a good combination. There you go. There we have it. The cardio is low, but because he's a top-tier player, he will rejuvenate fast. Just make sure we don't get cracked. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Trying to wear, that, wear down that body. We need to... It's sort of hit him with a, a decent chin, flurry no from the body you, to the head. head. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, this was a uh, this was a turning point in the round for sure. Lovely. Great round. And look, that's the first time he's attempted to hit me after the bell. So we're in his head, man. We are in his head. We have a wounded animal. And he knows that, but we're not going to be obvious. Let's uh, take our time. Beautiful. And um, let's just try and pick him apart. And, you know, I'm trying my best to do what I do to people with, say, Lloyd Jones, except that I'm not anywhere near as capable with Kel Brook. So let's see if we can actually make this round a masterclass. I'm going to utilize more of my uh, tools in this round when I feel the moment is right. But I do believe this is the round that we can take him out. And, uh, ooh, and of course, we have to not get taken out ourselves. You build when your opponents hit you with their best Beautiful. shot and you walk right through. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off the chin. Uh, instead of fainting, I might just throw that left hook alone sometimes because he's getting used to my faint. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Okay, he's throwing a lot of shots in midair. And that uh, gives me an opportunity here to um to catch him with my hooks whilst his cardio is down. Because there's less chance that he can hurt me. Oh, he's getting um, he's getting real flustered now, guys. Let's go for the body. One shot at a time. One now. shot at a time, guys. Beautiful Looks flurry like there. Going for the finish here. His opponent with his body, body. He's down. Beautiful. The has Just the count. technical he make it destruction. And um, the game acknowledges that. And that's why we just got a straight KO, man. He's not even getting up. You know what, these fights mean a lot to me because he was a worthy opponent. You know, he had decent footwork, he was able to adapt. Plus, you know, he was Canelo Alvarez. Again, he'd have high perks, very dangerous. And we got the win, man. We got the win again. So guys, look, if you enjoy technical breakdowns, okay, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is episode three of playing as the underdog. So make sure you go and watch my other two videos and my undisputed review, which is getting high praise at the moment. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.